Number 10. Frederick Samuel Duesenberg was a German-born American inventor. With the help of his brother, August, and a good friend, he founded the Duesenberg Automobile and Motors Company. On July 2, 1932, Frederick was driving his company car on a wet Lincoln Highway near Jonestown, Pennsylvania. It was apparent that he had been speeding when the automobile overturned and caused several injuries to both his spine and shoulders. He seemed to be making a speedy recovery until he developed pleural pneumonia. He expired on July 26, 1932, in the company of his wife and son. Number 9. Franz Reichelt was an Austrian-born French tailor. From an early age, he took a keen interest in parachuting. Much of his adult life was devoted to designing and perfecting the parachute suit, a contraption much like a cape for aviators to wear. In the case of an emergency, they would deploy it, carrying them safely to the ground. Sadly, this was not the case for Franz. Throughout 1911, Reichelt repeatedly petitioned the Parisian Prefecture of Police, asking them for permission to test one of his suits off the Eiffel Tower. He was finally granted permission in early 1912. Instead of dropping a test dummy off the tower, he suited himself up and jumped. The last thing we think he heard were the gasp of hundreds of people who came to watch. Although he died at impact, Reichelt was pronounced dead the next day at a nearby hospital. Number 8. Thomas Migley Jr. was an American-born mechanical engineer and chemist. He was part of a team led by Charles Kettering that developed additives for gasoline. During the course of his life, he was granted over a hundred patents for his work. In his later years, he worked as a chairman for the United States National Academy of Sciences. In 1940, at the age of 51, Migley contracted poliomyelitis. Because of this, he was left severely disabled and in need of constant help. Still an inventor, he created a pulley system to help others like himself get out of bed. At the age of 55, he died of asphyxiation after the invention strangled him to death when it entangled itself around his neck. Number 7. Thomas Andrews Jr. was an Irish-born businessman and shipbuilder. He was also the head of the drafting department for the shipbuilding company Harland & Wolfe. Later in his career, he was appointed naval architect for the ocean liner RMS Titanic. He was traveling on board the Titanic during its maiden voyage. The ship, considered to be unsinkable, hit an iceberg and capsized within hours. Andrews was standing alone in the first-class smoking room staring at a painting, Plymouth Harbor, above the fireplace, arms folded over his chest, his life jacket lying on a table nearby. The painting depicted the entrance to Plymouth Sound, which Titanic had been expected to visit on her return voyage. Andrews went down with the Titanic, and his body was never recovered. Number 6. Karol Socek was a Czech-born professional stuntman and inventor. He is best known for going over the Niagara Falls in a protective barrel he had created. He prepared for this stunt by researching previous attempts and illegally sending unmanned barrels over the falls to test the currents in fall speed. On July 2, 1984, the barrel was rolled into the Niagara River with Socek inside. He had dropped over 1,000 feet, and all he had to show for it were a few cuts and bruises. On January 19, 1985, he finally met his fate. Socek was enclosed in his barrel 180 feet above the floor of the Astrodome. The barrel was released ahead of time and unexpectedly. Instead of hitting the tank of water he was supposed to, Socek hit the rim. He was cut from the barrel, rushed to the hospital, only to die the next day. Number 5. Li Si was a Chinese prime minister born in 280 BC. He was also a respected legalist and calligrapher. Li Si is known as the persecutor of Confucianism. His methods of rule are seen by some as totalitarianism. 
It is not well documented, but experts believe Lacey invented the five pains sometime during his rule. This method of torture involved tattooing, cutting off the nose, amputation of one or both feet, castration, and death. This punishment was only given to serious crimes such as murder or theft. Zhao Gao had Li Si executed after admitting to tricking a Chinese royal into committing suicide for selfish purposes. In 208 BC, Li Si was put to death by the method of torture he himself had invented, the Five Pains. Number 4. Perillus of Athens was a metal worker and inventor. Very little is known about Perillus, but his invention, the brazen bull, is one of the most recognizable weapons of malice ever invented. The bull was hollow and made entirely of bronze with a tiny door on one side. The condemned would be locked inside the bull, and a fire was set underneath to slowly roast the victim to death. There were even horns which amplified the victim's screams and released steam as they burned. Phalaris, the ruler of Agrigas from 570 to 554 BC, decided to make Perillos the first victim. Number 3. According to legend and the book Wan Hu is in the Stars, Wan Hu was a low-ranking Chinese official living in the 16th century. He attempted to reach outer space by attaching 47 rockets to the bottom of his chair. Prior to lighting the fuses, his servant expressed he was scared for his life, to which Wan Hu replied, Flying has been our Chinese dream for thousands of years. Today I want to discover a new way to explore the heaven, even if I might be broken to pieces. You don't need to be scared, just ignite the engine. A few moments later, the rockets exploded. But Wan Hu was still on Earth. Number 2. Jimmy Heselden was a British entrepreneur and former coal miner. He made his fortune manufacturing the Hesco Bastion barrier system. Although Heselden did not die by his own invention, his death is still a bit ironic. In 2010, he purchased Segway Incorporated, maker of the Segway personal transport system. On September 26, 2010, Hesselden was pronounced dead after falling an estimated 80 feet down a cliff while riding his Segway. Although a millionaire, he was known for his generosity and all-around kindness. Later that same year, a post-mortem examination showed some inconsistencies with the death and even suggested foul play, but the charges were quickly dropped. Number 1. Henry Smolensky was an inventor and aviation expert. He graduated at the Northrop Institute of Technology's Aeronautical Engineering School and was the founder of Advanced Vehicle Engineers. His goal was to create the first flying car. By combining the rear portion of a Cessna Skymaster with a Ford Pinto. On September 11, 1973, during a test flight, the right wing of the Cessna Skymaster detached from the Ford Pinto. Smolensky crashed into the runway, ending his life and dream. The National Transportation Safety Board inspected the remains of the aircraft and determined that poor design and loose parts were the root cause of its failure. Like these top 10 videos? Subscribe by clicking the annotation here and give our video a like. Have an idea for a future top 10? Leave a comment in the section below.